In this video, we'll talk about various methods that you have available to you in Solid Edge to shrink wrap your parts and assemblies inside of Solid Edge. Now, important to note, there is no actual shrink wrap command, but there are various methods, uh, some a little bit older that may not be as applicable with the newer functionalities here inside of Solid Edge. Now, the whole point of this is, it could be two main reasons, I would say. One is to lightweight your parts and assemblies, right? So if you have complex designs, very parts and assemblies, you can create simplified representations to make it much easier to work with uh, in Solid Edge uh, in your day-to-day -day work. And the other main reason is for intellectual property, right? If you want to remove the proprietary designs that you have inside of your parts and assemblies, this is uh, a very important uh, thing to consider. So let's start here with a simple part. And I have a clipping plane uh, created, as you can see here, when I press Control D, I can quickly turn that clipping plane on and off. So you can see this tank is, is hollowed out. So let's mention a few of the older methods that you may uh, have seen in the past. So for example, one thing you might have done is using the surfacing command, you can, for example, run the copy surfaces command and very quickly pick up on, on all of the exterior chain uh, surfaces or even the body. Uh, there's a, a nice option where you can remove the internal boundaries to simplify some of that as well. And then from there, for example, stitch it up into a solid body. So that's one, again, sort of an older process that you may have gone through to create that. Now, uh, another one actually is, for example, uh, using synchronous technology. So if I go into selection manager mode here and select all of the for example, uh, let's grab one of these faces here and see if I can quickly grab all of these uh, surfaces. And rotating around, I can see I've uh, missed just a few here, so I'll grab uh, this feature uh, as well. And once I have all of those surfaces selected, I can press spacebar. And if I uh, make a copy of these surfaces, you can see that it automatically uh, uh, or fills in uh, that, that hollowed out area or that internal void. So again, this is just one, uh, one other trick, if you will, uh, or method to remove any internal voids. Now, with that said, uh, there's, there's of course uh, been functionality added over the years to Solid Edge. So let me switch over to a different part here. And you'll notice this is an empty part. And one option that you have is inserting a part copy. So if you uh, go to, for example, select an assembly to bring in as a part copy, you might see something like this, uh, this grinder assembly. And I actually already had a clipping plane created here in, uh, in this uh, empty part beforehand. So you can see when I turn that clipping plane on, there's lots of inter internal components, internal voids, and so on. So a few of the options that you have are to to combine uh, bodies basically with this adjust non-manifold conditions and merge and when you press apply you can see uh, updates now in this case um, uh, nothing really happened but in, in other models if, if you have multiple bodies for example you, you, you might see um, all of those merge and the other important option in here is remove voids so remove voids as you can see when i click apply you'll see a few of these voids uh, in some of these components uh, are automatically removed now you'll notice a lot of that is still there and that's because this is not a completely sealed uh, assembly. So again, this is just one method for, for completely sealed uh, parts uh, or assemblies. It would definitely do a great job in, in just a couple of clicks there. For example, this uh, the first pressure tank that we looked at. Now let me uh, switch over to, actually let's go back to this pressure tank and I'm going to undo uh, that copy that I did. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Uh, this copied body that I created, and I'll show you one other option. So under the uh, Tools tab, you have the Simplify Environment, and this is very important if you have never explored the Simplify Environment for simplifying parts and assemblies, please do. Uh, it, is, it is very powerful. It will greatly improve your efficiency when you're working in, uh, with your models in solid, inside of Solid Edge. And this is applicable for both parts and assemblies, as I'll show you here. So with a simple part, uh, you can see this hollowed out tank that, that we've already been looking at. With the delete faces command, there is actually an option to remove internal voids. So literally in one click, uh, when you click the body, you can see it instantly gets rid of all of your internal voids. 
And again, just depending on what exactly you need to do, you might want to create a copy or save this as save this out as a parasol file or a step file and bring it back in. Uh, so uh, it really just depends on what you need. And from here, once you have a simplified version, actually, when you go to save as, notice there's a save model as command, which is going to save the simplified model to a new file. So that lets you save that instantly uh, to a new file. And now let's switch over to an assembly and, and see uh, another uh, example. So under the tools tab, we can also go to the simplify environment. And here there's two options. There's a visible faces, and this option is traditionally used uh, really for light weighting your, your assemblies, right? But if you are looking to do more of a shrink wrapping to get rid of uh, proprietary uh, design information, uh, the model option uh, might be more applicable. And there's a few different things in here. There is the auto simplify. This has been added a few versions ago inside of Solid Edge and uh, does an incredible job actually. It's gotten better over the over the years, of course, but as you can see, uh, if I just select all of my uh, parts here inside of this assembly, there is this remove features option, which is enabled by default. And you'll see as I press my uh, control D to turn in my clipping plane, and if I hide the, uh, the rest of the assembly, you can see the uh, resulting uh, simplified assembly or body. And if I switch, if I turn off my uh, simplified body and show my original, this is the original grinder that we already saw, right? So you can see many internal components and, and, and internal voids, uh, all of that proprietary design. So again, let's turn that off and go back to my simplified, uh, automatically simplified body, and you can see the result. So it really does, again, uh, an impressive job, this auto simplify command. But let's say you wanted to take that a step further. Let's say you wanted to, uh, for some reason, uh, hide kind of the, uh, the intricate details of the blade or, or any of these other areas. You can actually use a few other commands within the simplify environment. So for example, in closure, you can choose between assembly components or local geometry. In this case, I'm going to turn using control Q, uh, the, my original assembly back on. And I'll just pick up on a couple of these uh, components here. And with this enclosure command, notice you have a few options for the shape. Uh, if you want to create a box, an inside cylinder, or an outside cylinder, which is going to encompass uh, all of the parts that you select. And once you accept that, uh, it asks for a plane that you want to use to basically to, to create the shape. And uh, as soon as I select my top plane, you can see that it creates a, a simple uh, a cylinder. Uh, let me turn, press Control D to turn off that clipping plane. And you can see what I've done here. So I've created just a dumb solid, basically, a dumb enclosure to encompass all of those uh, parts that I, that I used uh, for that selection. Now from here, you can take that one step further. So using the Boolean command, you can create a union. So I can now select that simple uh, enclosure that I've created along with my uh, automatically simplified part and merge those into one solid body. And now if I turn on my, let's turn off these planes and turn that clipping plane back on, you can see, uh, let's turn off the original assembly. You can see that is completely uh, filled in now. There is no internal components to this design. And from here, again, you can go to the save as uh, menu and choose the save simplified model as, and that would instantly let you I uh, save this off as a, let's call this a testing. And we'll just open that up so we can see what it looks like. And there you have it. Uh, here's our single part file, single body, uh, simple part copy, as you can see. Without any of that, uh, let's turn on or create a clipping plane so we can verify. There you have it. So this has completely been filled in, removing all of that intellectual property. And there you have it. I hope you find this useful. Again, uh, in summary, we looked at a few different methods, uh, some a little bit older, and some of the newer functionality that Solid Edge gives you to uh, protect your intellectual property, uh, hide your proprietary design, information uh, when you are sending out your models. Thanks for watching and take care.